Welcome to the Gospel with the Church Fathers. Today is the Monday of the second week of Lent. Thank you for watching, and please share this episode with your family, friends, and on social media. Thank you. Today's Gospel is from St. Luke, chapter 6, verses 36 through 38, and the commentaries are from St. Cyril of Alexandria, St. John Chrysostom, St. Gregory of Nyssa, St. Bede, and St. Theophylactus. The Gospel. Be ye therefore merciful, as your Father is also merciful. Judge not, and ye shall not be judged. Condemn not, and ye shall not be condemned. Forgive, and ye shall be forgiven. Give, and it shall be given unto you. Good measure, pressed down and shaken together, and running over, shall men give into your bosom. For with the same measure that ye meet withal, it shall be measured to you again. The Commentaries St. Cyril of Alexandria Great, then, is the praise of mercy. For this virtue makes us like unto God, and imprints upon our souls certain signs, as it were, of a heavenly nature. St. John Chrysostom Judge not thy superior, that is, thou a disciple must not judge thy master, nor a sinner the innocent. Thou must not blame them, but advise and correct with love. Neither must we pass judgment in doubtful and indifferent matters, which bear no resemblance to sin, or which are not serious or forbidden. You will not easily find any one, whether a father of a family or an inhabitant of the cloister, free from this error. But these are the wiles of the tempter, for he who severely sifts the faults of others will never obtain acquittal for his own. Hence it follows, and ye shall not be judged. For as the merciful and meek man dispels the rage of sinners, so the harsh and cruel adds to his own crimes. St. Gregory of Nyssa Be not then rash to judge harshly of your servants, lest ye suffer the like. For passing judgment calls down a heavier condemnation, as it follows, Condemn not, and ye shall not be condemned. For he does not forbid judgment with pardon. St. Bede Now, in a short sentence, he concisely sums up all that he had enjoined with respect to our conduct towards our enemies, saying, Forgive, and ye shall be forgiven. Wherein he bids us forgive injuries, and show kindness, and our sins shall be forgiven us, and we shall receive eternal life. St. Cyril of Alexandria But that we shall receive more abundant recompense from God, who gives bountifully to those who love him, he explains as follows, Good measure, pressed down and shaken together, and running over, shall they give into your bosom. St. Theophylactus As if he says, as when you wish to measure meal without sparing, you press it down, shake it together, and let it pour over abundantly. So the Lord will give a large and overflowing measure into your bosom. But someone will put the subtle question, if the return is made over abundantly, how is it the same measure? To which we answer, that he said not, in just as great a measure shall it be measured to you again, but in the same measure, for he who has shown mercy shall have mercy shown unto him, and this is measuring again with the same measure. But our Lord spoke of the measure running over, because to such a one he will show mercy a thousand times. So also in judging, for he that judges and afterwards is judged receives the same measure. But as far as he was judged, the more severely that he judged one like unto himself was the measure running 